tangent line is a straight line that touches a curve at exactly one point. That's kind of the textbook definition, but essentially it is a line that represents the slope of the curve at that single point. As we went over in our derivative basics video, a derivative will find the tangent line slope, or the slope at that point. Like any linear line, however, it too has an equation that many AP calculus or early calculus courses will ask for. And that's what we're here to go through today. Welcome to finding the equation for a tangent line. For an example question, let's say that a curve with the equation y equals x cubed plus 2x has a tangent line located at x equals 1. The question is, what is the equation of the tangent line? If you want to solve this on your own, you can try this one out. Now if this seems daunting, do not worry. Finding the equations for tangent lines isn't actually too difficult, as we only need the slope and the x and y points. This means that these will be our two steps towards constructing the equation. Now to acquire these values, we just have to remember that at the point that the tangent line and the curve touch, they share all of these values. They share the x, the y, and the slope. So starting with the slope, if we take the derivative of the curve and then plug in the x value where they touch at, we will be able to find the slope of not only the curve at that point, but the tangent line as well. Now remember, the slope of the tangent line at that point is actually the slope of the whole line, since it's a straight line. So applying this to our equation, if we take the derivative of this equation, our first term would be 3x squared, added to our second term, would, which would be 2. Now we plug in the point that they meet at, which is x equals 1. So we plug in 1 to get 3 times 1 squared plus 2. This results in a slope of 5. Now that we've gotten the slope, let's get the x and y points. Since this is a linear line, all we need to get is one set of x and y points. And lucky for us, the value of x is already given. However, to find the y value, we just have to use that sharing property we talked about again and realize that the curve's y value at that point will be the same as the tangent line's y value at that point as well. So we just have to plug in the x value into the curve's equation and the result will be the y value of the tangent line. Going back to the equation, we're not using the derivative equation, but going back to the original one. So plugging in x equals 1 to the x cubed plus 2x. That gives us 1 cubed plus 2 times 1, which equals 3. So now we have a set of points, 1, 3, and our slope of line of 5. So our very last step involves constructing the equation which this time will not be using the slope intercept formula, but the point slope formula. This is because it allows us to plug in every single value without having to change anything, and during the exams you will not have to simplify this. So using this formula, we use our values from before to acquire a final equation of y minus 3 equals 5 times x minus 1. So now this is the equation of the tangent line. We finished the question already. It's quite a repeatable process and works for pretty much every single graph. So remember, just grab the slope and then one set of x and y points and then plug it into the equation. It's that easy. Also, a little side note, thank you so, so, so much for 1000. It really makes me happy to see all the supportive comments. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. And I was thinking of doing a special, but I'm not exactly sure what to do. If you guys want to drop any suggestions, I can maybe try to do one of those. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Best, luck, best of luck with your future studies and bye-bye.